Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we are doing a pen review. Specifically, we are doing the Staedtler um, Ball 432 Ballpoint Pen Review. Um, I want to say thank you to my friend Sue in Switzerland who sent me these pens. I have never, never seen these here in the United States. So this is totally new and um, apparently these are fairly common pens um, in the Swiss market and they come in a 10 pack and you can see in a real rainbow of colors um, and these very much remind me of the Papermate Inkjoy pens that we have here in the U.S. which are also um, sold in sort of a, a rainbow pack like this. So uh, here is the package. It is um, uh, you know a cellophane pack and here we've got uh, 10, you get 10 pens in here. Ball 432, ballpoint pen. You can see it's <clears throat> multilingual here for a number of different um, markets. So, um, Staedtler, and we'll look on the back here and see what else it tells us. So. In English, ballpoint pen in triangular shape, smooth writing performance. Uh, and you can see that it is triangular. Another thing that uh, the, the um, uh, Inkjoy are also a triangular barrel, so that, that also sort of made that connection with me. These pens are made in Thailand. Uh, so there you have it, pretty straightforward with the packaging. Um, you can see here through the tops of the pens, they sort of have a triangular cap to them. Um, let, me, let me open the package here. And these will slide on out. And there they are. Really beautiful, um, you know, in terms of the color variety. Black, brown, green, kind of a lime green, light blue, dark blue, purple, uh, bright pink, um, red, and orange. So there you go. Um, all the colors. If we look at the pens this way, we can also see how... Um, We've got a triangular shaped barrel here. Again, we'll do a top view. Triangular shaped barrel, of course. They're all color keyed. Now, they do have a translucent barrel. You can see the ink tubes through there, although the ink tubes are white, so you cannot see the ink levels. But, um, yeah, let me, there we go. Uh, let's see, it does say medium. Didn't say so on the package, I don't think. Um, no, but here on the pen there's an M, and I'll assume that means medium. And here's the tip. So, let me um, get some paper, and we will get writing with these Staedtler ballpoint pens for number 432. So here we are. I'm going to start with the brown pen because uh, I'm sort of intrigued by it, honestly. And, you know, <laughs> how often do you get to write with a brown pen? Not very, not at least in my case. So um, we're going to post the cap. It fits on very securely. Um, Probably, the, the barrel probably goes halfway into 
the cavity of the cap. You know, it's got a nice pocket clip here on it. And let me little focus here and let's see what we look like. Let's see if we can get it. Let's get it going first. There we go. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I just lost it here. How about that? Just stopped. Hmm. Well, it was going pretty well there for a minute. I'm going to try the green. Get that going. It is a fairly light green. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a smooth pen. Uh, it does write smoothly. And I would say, I don't know what the ballpoint actually size actually is. Now, a medium could be a lot of things. There are different standards. Normally, um, here in the U.S., we think of a medium as a 1.0 millimeter uh, ball tip. I'm going to switch to a blue here. Um, since we have so many great colors. Um, so normally our medium in the U.S. is 1.0 millimeter. Um, this feels less than that. I'm not sure what it might be, but it doesn't quite feel like a 1.0 to me. But I Could be wrong. Okay. The blue, and this is the dark blue, is on the lighter side, as is the green. I'm looking for dryness. Seems to dry fairly quickly, the ink. Um, it is... Not quite, it's sort of a in between, wouldn't call, say that it feels like a gel. Very comfortable to hold. Typical of a triangular shaped instrument. I really want this brown to write, but I don't think I'm going to get anything here. Just not happening. Okay. Let's, uh... Try a purple. Mm -hmm. Smooth writing. For sure. So, 
Um, I think, you know, probably school kids would like a pen like this, uh, particularly, you know, um, because of all the colors, it's sort of fun. And I don't know what happened with the brown, but uh, providing they're all working okay, Um, you know, they're a good general purpose pen. I actually like trying all the colors, especially the ones that <clears throat> maybe are a little less than ordinary. Let's see if I can get this. The colors are on the light side. Now this is an orange. And it's a very faint orange. I wish uh, they were a little bolder, uh, a little darker. But um, they do write smoothly and they have really fun colors. So uh, thank you for spending some time with me as we checked out this rainbow of colors from the Statler Company. They're offering for a uh, ballpoint triangular pen for 32. And thanks again, Sue, for sending these my way to try. And it will be fun to write things in different colors for different friends. Uh, so if you like what I do here on Always Analog, please subscribe, share, and hit the like button. And I'll see you again real soon here on Always Analog.